people, don't misinterpret my words. I want you to go to heaven as much as I'd want Jorge Bergoglio to go to heaven. But if he's leading you astray and you're following, it's like the blind following the blind. Jesus said that. People need to understand that, uh, first of all, I don't want anybody to go to hell. Almighty God, our Father, doesn't want anybody to go to hell. Jesus came so that people wouldn't have to go to hell. He suffered and died so that wouldn't happen. But he also said many will and few will choose that narrow road to the narrow gate. So, I mean, we're deluding ourselves if we don't think, including myself, I might end up there. I always say martyrdom's the only way I'm <laughs> going to make it. My greatest concern uh, with Jorge Bergoglio and so many other the shepherds of the church, just like it was in Jesus' day, was concern for all the souls that are being led astray down that broad road to destruction through all the various heresies and apostasies and anti-Catholic teachings that he's just, just spewing forth. My concern is for their souls. So uh, Jorge Rogoglu has to repent. Mm -hmm. he, well, he has to, or he will burn in hell. I mean, that is, that, you, you mentioned the word trajectory, uh, mm -hmm. I think, in our private conversation. And I mean, the trajectory is it's like straight down. It's like one of those rides like Demon Drop at, at Cedar Point in Ohio. Mm -hmm. it, you're just straight down. Uh, and he's going there unless he changes. Uh -huh. But you are what you do, you become what you practice. And uh, Judas practiced betrayal long before the big betrayal. Uh -huh. and, and look where he is now. People want to pretend he's not in hell. So Harry Bergoglio wants to pretend he's not in hell. Uh -huh. right? Remember, he's got that picture where Jesus goes down, he's very homoerotic, goes down and, and like rescues Judas from hell. No, Jorge, um, I don't want Jorge to go to hell. I don't want anybody to go to hell. I don't want myself to go to hell, but there's a demand. There's a requirement for us who know better to to, to demand, to repent. Say, so, and we get this straight out of the gospel. John the Baptist, who's coming toward him for baptism? The Pharisees and the scribes. And what did he say? And he, he didn't say, "What are you doing here?" That's not what he said. He said, "What are you brood of vipers doing coming here? Show some evidence of your repentance." Hmm. I mean, that's straight out of the gospel, Matthew chapter three. Hmm. So what I'd say to Jorge Bergoglio. It, show some evidence, and and you tell me, John Henry, you who know more, way more than I could ever dream of knowing about the things that are going on in the church, uh, you tell me some evidence that any of these vipers have repented. I don't see it. I don't see it. What I see is they keep piling it on more and more. Uh, so let's be clear on this, and don't mis and people don't misinterpret my words. Okay. I want you to go to heaven as much as I'd want Jorge Bergoglio to go to heaven, but if he's leading you astray and you're following, it's like the blind following the blind. Jesus said that. Let's pray. Let's, let's pray right now. All right. Yeah. In nomine patri, sefili, spiriti santi, amen. Heavenly Father, Nathan, what's, what's his last name? He was the doctor. Nathanson, Bernard Nathanson, who had participated in, what, 50,000 abortions, converted. It is possible for people to convert. Send him, Father. He's not going to listen to me. Send him, Father, and have in someone who will be that one light where he will see the error of his ways and the lambs he has led astray. St. Paul. St. Paul. Uh, he, he was struck down by Almighty God himself. So Almighty God, if that's what it takes, okay. And do it. We ask you this, Father, because if he does, he will reset the trajectory of so many. Have him repent, Father. Publicly repent. Show some evidence of his repentance before he dies. And we ask for this in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. So I always said this about Madonna. You know, she's that singer mm -hmm. that was, she, she, oh, she's, and she represents, I mean, that name, mm -hmm. how she's drugged that through the mud. Yeah. But I thought, because she's Catholic. Yeah. If she repented, imagine the impact yeah. she would have. If Jorge Bergoglio <clears throat> repented, and he's very much in need of it, mm -hmm. imagine the impact. Well, I could imagine because while he's in the opposite direction, he has what it would take for the Pope we need to clean the church. Yes. Because he has no care whatsoever what people think. Right. <laughs> he would take, he yes. would take all the evil guys, which is maybe most, and yeah. just say, goodbye. You're yeah. not a cardinal. You're not even a priest. Go yes. away. You have no pension. You have no nothing. Go. Yes. <laughs> because that's sort of what he's done on the other end.
I am pleased to announce the launch of the new LSN TV app, which can bring all of LifeSite News' top video content direct to your phone, tablet, computer, and TV so that you can bypass the censors and keep fighting with us for life, faith, family, and freedom. Don't be alone in the darkness. We've been cancelled. Fight the cancellation. Download the app.